My name is Zakir Hussain, and I am from India, representing the age-old tradition of North Indian classical music. The way it was played 500 years ago, same way it is being played now, performed now. The difference now is, we not only are doing our music, Indian classical music, but we are also learning how to be able to talk our music uh, in as many different musical languages as possible because the world has become small. You need to be able to convey the sounds and music that you're producing, but also to be able to be well versed in the languages of music that exists all over the world. My father's influence on me is paramount. It's one of the most important influences in my life. And I remember an incident when I was playing a concert with him. He allowed me to perform with him on stage. And then we got off the stage and one of his friends came up to him and said, uh, Maestro, uh, concert was fantastic. You were fantastic. Your son, he plays exactly like you. That gentleman meant it as a, as a compliment. And my father said, Oh, I hope not. I hope he doesn't play like me. According to him, his own playing, he said, is already done. That's already seen and established. And if he does that, he'll just be a copycat. So he's got to do something of his own. I remember after that initial period when he stopped paying attention to me, for the next three or four years, I was left to work on my own. One day, he came to my school performance. I was seven years old. And when we got home, and then he looked at me and said, would you like to learn this art seriously? I immediately said, yes, of course. I want to do that seriously. So he said, tomorrow we will begin. I went to bed happy that next day we are going to learn, start learning more. At three o'clock in the morning, he woke me up and we walked to the shrine of Magdum. And there was a bench there, right in front of the entrance to the shrine. We sat there and he started to tell me about the great masters of the old. And he would pick out a particular piece of music that one of those masters has done. To my memory, it's the core of the knowledge that I have received from him, the transmission that I have received from him, happened in front of that shrine and on that bench. From the age of 12 onwards, I started traveling and playing concerts. But over the next 20 years or so, I was strictly playing classical music until uh, I arrived in America. And there I met some wonderful musicians like uh, Mickey Hart, John McLaughlin. America was the door that opened my eyes, my ears to a whole different way of being able to make music. John McLaughlin and I finished our first record, the Shakti record. In those days, I'm talking about 1974, 75, the term world music or the term fusion music or new age had not yet arrived. So uh, we didn't know what to do or what to call it. It's just music for us. If in my mind, I'm able to clearly imagine myself as just a percussion player, not a tabla player. I can play it like a bongo drum, like congas, in any possible way that is required in that composition of people uh, playing for it to mix in without standing out. It has to mix in, it has to blend. And, and, and so for me, I guess another word for blending is fusion. I have not had to just keep doing the same thing, but readjust, reinvent myself and find new ways to be able to speak 
tell the same old story that I've heard from my father and, and from his teacher and so on.